welcome back to a new video on the Kansas Fire Alarm channel. My name is Jake, and I'm joined by... Brent. Yes. Alright, so, uh, we're kind of going to teach her about this this hobby I have, you know, that type of thing. She'll learn at some point. Alright, so we got the panel, we got uh, this pole station, Kitty 278B, uh, System Sensor 2151, HR, P2R, but I put Fuego lettering on it because well, why not? We got this thing still. I don't remember if I had this up. I don't know. Same 425120. Genesis remote strobe. EST pre integrity. And we have a new alarm. The. Um, that model number, I don't remember it, and I'm not gonna put it on the screen because I don't like editing. We got this smoke detector, the General Electric 521 insert keyboard spam. Uh, keyboard spam. Did I forget to lock this? No, okay. And then we got the BG12. Okay, one, two, or three, which one? All right, one, two, or three, hello? One, two, or three? Which one? Three. Okay, three. All right, let's go pull the BG12. All right, let's do this. We got our hex key ready, and let's pull this. Three, two, one. Jesus. Oh, no. All right. Don't have a seizure. All right. Uh, the system. Uh, activate. Let's activate the smoke detector. Cause why not? He's vibing. Pull this in my room. Where's the key? Okay. All right. Let's pull the forty-two fifty-one twenty, and then final remarks before I end this video. Okay, you have anything to say before I cut this video? That was my jam. Honestly, though. Okay, so uh, I'm not liable if you guys pull a fire alarm in a real building, as you can face a $500 fine, six months in jail. And, um, yeah, that should be it, I think. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Yeah.